Long go. Hey, Mr. G, and we're here at Memorial High School, and today we're doing a leak down test. All right, I'm going to show you what it is. Come on in here. All right, this is your this is your leak down tester. All right. Okay, and basically what that is, we have a hose that comes from a compressor. You set the compressor at 100 psi. All right. Okay, no problem. All right, you take the hose. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. First thing you want to do on an engine that you suspect there's a problem is you do a compression test. Hold on, I'll do that again. Ah, compression tester. All right, so the compression tester is basically a pressure gauge, and this would have hooked up to this hose, which goes to what would have been the spark plug wire. And then this, when you pull the the starter, okay, what you'll get is between 60 and 100 PSI, somewhere in there. Now, Elvis, how much were we getting on your engine? About 30? Yeah. Okay, so it was too low. So I said, okay, well, why don't we do perfect opportunity to learn about where is the leak uh, coming from? So you do something called a leak down test. I'll pass me that, uh, the, uh, the other box. Put this back like this. I think there's something missing here. Okay, we'll get to that. Oh, here. This is it. Goes here. Make sure you put all your stuff back whenever you're working. Okay. Next one. Leak down test. Unassuming box. So I always have people write on it. And uh, nothing fancy inside. Literally just foam. Right, it's a nice place. If you had a cat, the cat would love to sleep there. <laughs> anyway. All right. Okay, I clearly have a cat, so. All right, bam, come on over my shoulder, take a look at this. Leak down test, right? So what's in a leak down test? Well, there's the input, which you're gonna put 100 PSI on, right? Okay, now, you're going to set that with the regulator. You're going to set that to zero. Now, I hear some, some leakage already. I think that's just in the regulator, which is, that's, that's unaffecting. That'll unaff that won't affect what we're doing. Okay, so here I am. I'm setting it right there. The compressor might go, go on or off during our conversation, but that's okay. The next part goes here, right? Now I've got my, you know, my cutoff switch, my on off. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we do that, muy importante, which means very important, is to set the flywheel and the piston in the top dead center. Okay. So let's take this. Let's take this off and let's take a look. All right. So this one's specifically our van, right? Remember this part of the process. What you're gonna do is, I would I come over here and I look at the I look at the valves, right? And I don't know if you could see them, but you could see the valve in there if you had like a flashlight on there. And then if you look inside here through the piston, look through there, you can actually see the piston moving. Hold on, it's too close. Go a little less. Yeah, you could see the piston going down and going back up. So what I do is a combination of making sure which, to see which is moving and which is not and to make sure that this is at the top. I make sure that it's at top dead center on the compression in between. Here, look at me with the camera. In between the compression stroke and the combustion stroke. So those, if you don't know the four stroke process, it goes like this. Intake and the valve opens and the piston goes down. Compression, this is closed. That, the spark plug would have gone off. Combustion, and that's when the explosion happens with the crank. And then um, exhaust, sorry. And the, and, the, and the exhaust valve would open. So it's 
I know those are funny singles, but anyway, it's, it's, it's intake, compression, combustion, exhaust. Okay, so I'm in between. I'm between compression and combustion, top dead center, which means the piston is up. All right, top dead center. Otherwise, this won't work. Now, before we test it, I'm going to show you what this looks like. If I had a laser and I were to cut right here. See, I could take a marker and I cut it with this. I have a special marker. And once I cut it with the special marker, I can actually draw it right out of this marker. Okay. So this is once I've cut it with the marker, now I can draw it. So basically it looks like this. You always want to, when you draw the engine from your special marker, you always want to, you always want to do it like this. Okay. This would be your crankshaft in here. This is your camshaft. And uh, this is the top deck right there. This comes down like this. Okay, and uh, this is the cylinder. I'll just block it off right there. And then you have your piston. Your piston sits here, and it would have the connecting rod would be right here. Okay, now here, watch this on not on an angle, right there. Perfect. Yeah, right, like that. Okay, and then this has a. Uh, a, lo a cam lobe, which would not be in the on position right now. Then comes the tap it, right? Then comes the valve. And the valve would look like that. And then underneath the